What's up guys, here with you with FC Wonder Kid, here with my guy Pedro, how are hey, you? Hey Alex, we're doing one of our favorite bits, aren't we? This is one of our favorite games here in our channel, Star Bench Cell. But before we get to these bold statements that, oh, some of these names, man, put some Star Bench Cells you would like to see, and I will try to personally answer every comment of a suggestion, okay? So we can get more Star Bench Cell videos done, and... Some more bold claims done. I am excited for this. Are you ready? Are you ready, Pim? I was born ready, Alex. Let's go for it. <laughs> I was born ready. Okay. So this is a striker. Striker edition. Okay. For this summer transfer window. So a start bench cell with Victor Ozime, Harry Kane, and Lautaro Martinez. This is... Ooh, it's a tough one. Lautaro can be underrated for many people at home. He's in the final of a Champions League. Uh, that's true, um, but I also reckon he had better seasons already. Zero goals in the World Cup. Uh, is so that what you're mentioning? Yeah. <laughs> in six um, games. Man, and Ozzyman for Napoli, he, he was one of the reasons, like probably one of the top two reasons <laughs> right up there with Kvaratskhelia for Napoli to have won the, the league, okay, Serie A. So I will start Harry Kane. I will bench Victor Ozyman and I will sell Lautaro Martinez. And I don't reckon you have a different, uh, any different choice than me right here. I, I'll, I'll, I'll start Harry Kane too. I will bench Victor Ozyman and I will sell Lautaro Martinez. Victor Ozyman is 24. I would love to see him get a move. But Kvisha Kvaratskhelia won the best player in the Serie A following Rafael Leon last yeah, season. Yeah, but Alex, we're saying this, but I hope that Lautaro Martinez doesn't sh prove us wrong in the end of Champions League final. Doesn't or does? Maybe I don't know. I don't want to be. I, I, I don't. I don't want to play the fool, man. I don't want to play the fool. I'd like to see Inter surprising the world yeah. and Man City. That yeah. would be interesting. Bastoni, Barella, Inter could have a and chance. That would would keep Pep around for another few years. And I then mean, he will he will stay around until he wins the <laughs> Champions League with Man City. And then we'd have to maybe change our star bench cell. But like what I have to say to Zlataru, I want to see where he goes next. I want to see where he goes next. I really reckon every top team in Europe 100% wants Ozime. Lautaro can be a question mark for some top teams, especially with the World Cup form. I think he's a top striker, 100 goals for Inter, but I think Ozime is a much better player and in Serie A. Listen, that's my opinion. I reckon one of those two will end up moving to Bayern Munich. To Bayern Munich? If you look at Bayern's squad, they really need a striker Fuck. after Lewandowski left. The Bundesliga needs a striker. No striker. No player had seven, 17 goals Man, in the Bundesliga. If you look at the Bundesliga table, okay, mm -hmm. Bayern won it with 71 points in 38 matches, which is seriously low. Yeah, the cup. Seriously low. That's why Dortmund was, was almost winning it, because Bayern bottled it this season. True. Even though they still won it, they bottled a lot of matches because they didn't have a striker. And I wanted to ask you this. Where should Harry... We were mentioning Harry Kane. Where should Harry Kane go? If I'm being honest, I think he would be really successful at Bayern. But I don't reckon Harry Kane will leave the Premier League. Uh, so, as I mentioned previously, for United will be either one of these two, Gonzalo Ramos or Harry Kane. I think they will target Harry Kane first. So, that will be my, my choice. Uh, Harry Kane for United, or maybe even Chelsea. And if Harry Kane goes to Man United, to Chelsea, does he become the all-time goal scorer of the Premier League in two years, three years' time? I don't know how many goals are left he's, for he's, him. I, he's the second right now, and he's like 50 goals away of getting to Alan Shearer. Um, 50 goals away? 50 yeah, goals no away. Doubt. If he stays another two years or three, he will get it. Uh, and I think that's the goal. I think that's the goal, and I think that's why he would refuse it's, Bayern it, Munich. But it's, Real Madrid... It's Harry, it's Harry Kane's trophy. It's should, uh, being... sh should Harry Kane <laughs> refuse Real Madrid to stay in the Premier League? Does that count as a trophy, Alex? Finishing as Premier League top scorer ever? <laughs> does well, that count as a trophy for Harry Kane? Well, if he does get that, that, get that from Alan Shearer, like... I, hopefully he'll be in a cha in a, in a Premier League title winning so, team. So you you would say that Harry Kane belongs uh, alongside all the other Premier League's OGs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, Harry Kane is one of the best Englishmen I've seen play football in my in my lifetime. I've seen Rooney, Lampard, Gerrard, Harry Kane. That's, I would put him so, next to that's the so funny, Alex. Because when we were kids, like 
maybe 10 or even more years back, I told you, Harry Kane is going to be a world-class striker. I was And doubtful. All, not only you, but a lot of our friends just laughs at my face, just it's like true. a lot of you people do when I make my bold, my bold claims. It's true. I, I remember really, being in school. He yeah. really became a, a top class striker. <laughs> I remember, yeah. You even said he should go to Real Madrid. Yeah, actually, in his yeah, first true, season man. that he was like scoring goals. And I was like, what? No, Benzema, man. Like, you can't, you can't put Harry Kane. And now, if someone will replace Benzema, that, that puts me tears on my own. Alex. Oh, my days. That is Start true. cell. No bench. Harry Kane, Benzema. Benzema right now. Because you start Ballon d'Or winner. Ballon d'Or winner still. But okay, next season, imagine you buy a club. Next season, you have to choose your striker. You have two uh, 130 million to spend. Imagine they both have that release clause. I'll get Who'd Lewandowski. You go for? <laughs> 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 I'd get Lewandowski ahead of Benzeman Kane right now. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For But me, Barca is a Champions League contending bro, team next no, season. No, man, no. You need to consider their, their age, man. <laughs> Harry Kane is way younger than Lewandowski what, and Benzema. Four years younger. And Lewandowski four takes years, care of you, his body. You know what? F well, f four, four years out is a lot, man. But Lewandowski does take yeah, care but, of uh, his but body. But I though. reckon that uh, I think Lewandowski longev longevity for Lewandowski and Benzema is greater than it will be for Harry Kane. Yeah. I, I really think Lewandowski next season will again win the Piscini. He will win. He will win it this season and P next Pichichi. season. Pichichi. Pichichi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pichini is top a, <laughs> the right back man. <laughs> yeah, the top goal scorer of La Liga. I really believe Lewandowski is going to do that back to back. But what? Okay, we started with Kane, Ozime, Lautaro. If it was Lewandowski in this, would you put Lewandowski starting in a start bench cell with Ozime, Kane, and Lewandowski? Right at the at the moment. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, I would, start, I would still start to Harry Kane. You would start Harry Kane ahead of Lewandowski? Uh, uh, man, Harry Kane at the moment is the only beacon that Tottenham fans can, can stare at because every other single aspect of the Tottenham season didn't live up to expectations. So, But Harry Kane is still carrying this team around like every season. So man. start bench cell with Ozime, Kane, Lewandowski. What is your start bench cell? Start Kane, bench Lewandowski and sell Ozime. That's hella bold. I'd start Lewandowski, I'd bench Kane, and I'd sell Ozime. And it hurts me to say sell Ozime. I didn't want to say that. Ozime, yeah. big time player, 24. But he still needs to prove himself further uh, to be at the level which, on which Harry Kane and Lewandowski are. And Napoli reached the quarterfinals of the Champions League for the first time. I do believe if they keep they Ozime they could have and gone further. They, they, could could have, they could have gone further this season. And mentioning Napoli... Oh, put down below if you want to see start bench cells of your choice. But this is, I think some people might like the start bench cell. Another Napoli player is here. Another Napoli. Not Kvisha, not Ozime. And this is a start bench cell with Ronald Rouge, Min J. Kim, and the last one, Ruben Dias of Man City. Oh my a gosh. start bench cell with Ruben Dias of uh, Man City. Ronald Rouge of Barcelona and Min J. Kim of Napoli. All three were absolutely amazing this season. World class, oh, I'll say. Even though I was disappointed with Ruben Dias World Cup campaign, mm. I will still start him um, because I still reckon that Ruben Dias is a beast, man. It's, he's, a, he's amazing. He has, a, uh, he's a, he has aggressiveness. We're lucky to have him, yeah. Portuguese. He, he really knows how to play um, uh, with his feet. Uh, really good passing-wise, really good positioning. The only thing that lacks in Ruben Dias' game mm. is his jump. I think he really needs to improve his jump. Okay, that, that's very specific, though. No, I it isn't because Portugal got knocked out by Morocco because Ruben Dias <laughs> didn't jump. But uh, respect to Ruben Dias, he's one of the best, if not the best, um, centre-backs in the world. So, yeah, I'm going to start Ruben Dias. I'm gonna bench Kim uh, Kim In Jae. Oh me! No, no. And I'm gonna sell Ronaldo Rouge. Don't sell Ronaldo Rouge, mate. I'm gonna start Ronaldo Rouge. With the uh, with the season Kim has done at Napoli, man, I couldn't sell him. Sorry, <gasps> because if if we say Oziman and and Kvaraskelia were instrumental. Kim Min Jae was instrumental too at the back, and there's no doubt about it. He was just a beast. He dominated the defense this year. So. And he did replace Koulibaly. He did replace Koulibaly. He made Napoli fans forget about Koulibaly. Koulibaly who, man? <laughs> Koulibaly, the guy who, 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 who was 12th in the, in the Premier League? With Chelsea, yeah. It's, yeah. Not, it's not looking good. And Koulibaly, seven seasons. He never won 
uh, the Scudetto. First season of Min Jae Kim, that's the Min Jae Kim effect. He was very, very good. Kim Min Jae or Min Jae Kim? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I don't know. But 18 million he cost from Fenerbahce too. One of the best deals in this transfer window. Bargain. But bargain. But he had 20 million leaving Sporting to Fulham. Min Jae Kim leaving Fenerbahce to Napoli. 18 million. Similar price tags. Big effect. Alex, uh, if you allow me, I actually have a star bench in But let me just say, my answer with the uh, Ruben oh, yeah. Dias... Sorry. My, okay. I would start Ronald Araouz, I would bench Ruben Dias, and I would sell Min Jae Kim. With this season, with Ruben Dias might, winning the, might, might be winning a treble, Barca, and you're starting Ronald Araouz, who would only have won that league. the Champions League final if Ronald Araouz wasn't injured against Inter. I, I really believe that. I really believe Man, Barca would sorry, go to a sorry. Champions League final. We're talking, okay, all, all due respect to Barca, but we were talking about Barcelona that won the La Liga because this year, to be honest, they had no opposition because Real Madrid bottled La Liga. True. You're talking about a team who did poorly in the Champions League. Lost to Inter. He, they did poorly in the Champions League. That was a League. tough group. They had a tough group. They did poorly in the Champions League last year with Ronaldo Rouge already. Young. He was a youngster. And you're putting him ahead of Kim Min, Min Jae or Min Jae Kim and Ruben Dias, who Ron is going to win the treble, probably, <laughs> if Bruno Fernandes doesn't prevent him. I believe, that, I, I really believe in Ronald Araouge. Man, okay, I don't agree with you, but okay, <laughs> so I respect it, it's your opinion. Ronald Araouge, but people put down below still with class Min though, Jae Kim, still Ruben, class though, but and Ronald Araouge. He's going to dominate the next few years. Dominate. Okay, so I have a special one for you. Okay, let's go. It for wasn't it. planned. I just think I uh, thought of it, and <laughs> due to recent man. due to recent news of Rafael Leon renewing his contract with AC Milan until 2028. That's big news. Five million. This a year. is a good one for you. Okay. Start bench sale, Rafael Leon, Vinicius Junior, and Bukayo Saka. For me, I'll go. That for me, I consider that one an easy one. And the people at home, English people, they'll be shocked some, but. It, it, they cannot. They cannot. Because I would start Vinicius Jr., a top three player in the world right now. I'll say that. I would bench Rafael Leão and I would sell Bukayo Saka. Bukayo Saka, yes, extended for Arsenal. But Rafael Leão, in terms of pure talent and brilliance and important, he was the MVP of the Serie A last season when Milan won the Scudetto. And he, doesn't, he, he just wasn't this season because of a certain guy called Kvisha Kvaraskili. And the, the, the Milan team needed better players. Yeah, then they ended up fifth? Limited, yes. And in the Champions League, yes, they had a run. They lose to Inter, that has a better squad, in my opinion, signing Onana, getting a Serbi, getting Mkhitaryan, Sanyanoglu, a lot of cheapies, Zeku. You, but you reckon it was a good move for Rafael Leon to sign a new contract? Yes, because of Maldini. Even Maldini the, is know, a mastermind. I really believe in Mar Maldini as a sporting okay, director. Guys. Tomori. Mike Magna, okay. like who could have who could have signed a better goalkeeper than Donnarumma uh, to Milan? Maldini, Paolo Maldini did that with Mike Magna. Alex, okay, but let, I, within the player's perspective, I don't think it was a great move, uh, and I'll tell you why. Why? Do you guys know what's what's the most recent Saka's wage, yearly wage? No, uh, I, mean, I don't know the fifteen million pounds. A season. season. Do you know what, what's Rafael Leon? Five million a season. Do you think Rafael Leon is worth three times less than Bukayo Saka? A hundred percent no. A hundred percent no. Guys, I think it was but a really bad choice. He, the only thing that may justify that but choice... But the Milan brand gives so much. That's true, but the only thing that may justify the choice of Rafael Leon signing for five years with a five million wage per year mm -hmm. is, if Rafael, uh, is if AC Milan pays his debt to Sporting. But That's the only way I can see this working because do you think Rafael Leon will stay at Milan until 2028 receiving only 5 million per year? I Look, I, I don't know if that will be the case but one th I want to ask you this so because we do consider him a top player and a lot of players have gone for those not a lot a limited amount of players have gone for that fee do you think Rafael Leon could leave for the release clause of 175 million one day similar? I do, I do think so That is bold mate because I, I've said it here many times, and people don't mock my predictions because most of them actually happen. Rafael Leon is up there with Holland and, and Mbappe. Okay, and he's Vini. the one. If is there, if there is any player in the world who can face these two titans, is Rafael Leon. Okay, Shh. and I really do 
reckon he's gonna get uh, to their level. It's disrespectful that he doesn't start for Portugal, in my opinion. Me I too. think Roberto Martinez. If you have a player like Rafael Leão, you need to make adjustments to your squad to fit him. Completely. He's like he's he's our Ronaldo nowadays. Well, well, I not at the same level, but in terms of growing. He's yeah, growing he's our towards be because he's the best player, Portuguese player at the moment. Player. He's the best Portuguese player Ruben alongside Dias. Bernardo Silva as and well. Ruben, yeah, yeah, and Ruben. And Bruno Fernandes. But <laughs> and we you're laughing, but Bruno Fernandes is the guy. So actually, sorry guys, I know we're not talking about Bruno Fernandes right now, but I need to say this: since Bruno Fernandes joined the Premier League, mm. there are only two players in the world with plus 50 assists and 50 goals in the top five um, leagues in Europe. Which are Bruno Fernandes and who else but Leo Messi? Okay, hmm. so uh, I'm Lebr not saying he has at the level of Leo Messi, but Lebron better than Bruno. But it's harder to do it in the Prem than to do it in Liga or or La completely, Liga. Completely, completely. And Bruno Fernandes has been bowling for a struggling United side for years now at Man United, and he deserves a title, uh, an important title. He already has a EFL Cup, and he's going to get it today. On the EFA Cup. Let's see. I, be I believe it. Let's see. He deserves it. So, we're for mentioning Bruno so much, with a Bruno Fernandes, a Kevin De Bruyne, and a Martin Odegaard this season, who do you start bench sell? <sighs> Man. <laughs> that's a mousetrap right there. You, you set it up for me because you know I'm going to put Bruno Fernandes ahead. He's it's not so a mousetrap if you believe in it. I'm going to start Bruno Fernandes. I'm going to bench Kevin De Bruyne. And I'm so sorry, Martin Odegaard. You've been class. <laughs> but I'm going to sell Martin Odegaard. But come on, man. Bruno Fernandes is so underrated. He puts in the goals. He puts in the assists. And Rio, Rio Ferdinand said it himself. If I was a striker, I would be drooling to play with Bruno Fernandes. If I was Harry Kane, I would go for United. Because with Bruno Fernandes providing you these assists, man, you're going to score 30 goals in a Premier League season. And the Bruno is with Haaland. Bruno Fernandes why, with why, Kane. Why do you think that... <laughs> yeah, man. That's why you need to join both Bruno Fernandes and, and Kane to take the, be the best out of uh, both of them. Because... True. You s you've seen at City well what Haaland plus De Bruyne has done. True. If you give a quality striker to Bruno, Bruno already, already puts in the assists, man. A lot of assists, and he doesn't have a prolific goal scorer. Martial if you add <laughs> Harry Kane to Bruno Fernandes, man, he will provide so, mu so much more assists, so many more assists than, than, than uh, De Bruyne does at Man City. The start bench cell. Tell us your start bench cells in the comment section below of, of what we were discussing. A lot of bold mentions. I start Kevin De Bruyne. I want to put that out. One of the greatest players to play in the Premier League. And look, I would, I have to sell Bruno. I'd have to sell. What Bruno. the hell, man? What would, the hell? I would bench you're, Martin. You're Odegaard. selling a player. I would, I would bench Martin Odegaard. In the last I would sell. I would sell. Three Bruno years has plus fifty goals and plus fifty uh, assists playing in the Premier League. Uh, a thing that only Messi achieved I, I as well. I think next season Man. I'll be benching oh Bruno for God. bench. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think I will. But it's it's just hard, man. And I think for Portugal too. He was the best player for man, Portugal okay. in the World Cup. So you're, okay. You're selling Bruno Fernandes. Okay. No problem there. But I'm going to ask you one thing. Hmm. You compare United season... Tw 10 years from now. Yes. You will compare this, this United season and this Arsenal season. You look at it. Okay. Uh, if United win the FA Cup today, United they won the League Cup, EFL Cup, FA Cup, third place in the league, Arsenal, zero titles, second place, and you're still putting Odegaard ahead of Bruno Fernandes when Bruno Fernandes is the main man at Man United. And Odegaard is the main man at Arsenal. He is next to Saka. He is, but. 10 years from now, people will only remember the titles and they will say United had a better season than Arsenal. I think Odegaard will be remembered for Arsenal fans. Since Ozil, I think Martin Odegaard has filled that role. I agree with you. He's, he's all but class, but I mean... It's a bold discussion, man, mate. Bruno Fernandes is just different gravy for me and people just don't see it because many people don't like him because he argues a lot with his teammates and referees. It's true. And, and he never won the league. He never won the league. He will. I, I reckon he will. And Tenag so. will so. revolutionize United. If United get the striker they need, they will be a menace next season. This is some very bold claims with Bruno De Bruyne and Martin Odegaard. Put down below your options. And here, this is, this will be, I think, we'll have different choices here too. A start bench style with Declan Rice, Joshua Kimmich, and Rodri of Man City. A start bench style with these crucial players for their respective teams.
it's not going to be easy, I reckon. Man, it's not easy, but... Uh, Declan Rice still plays for us. I, mean, I know they're in the European He'll final. Move. He's going to move this summer. They'll 100%. play, but he might want, He might win the Conference League this season. And then I he think moves. they're favorites. Um, which is already something respectful to put to his name. Fiorentina, with... I think, will beat West Ham, though. Really? I, I don't think, think so. so. I think West Ham will win it. But... Interesting. Okay. Um, debate for, no, for another time. Um, <laughs> yes. I will have to start Joshua Kimmich. Ooh! Start Kimmich! Man, because Kimmich, not only for Bayern... Man, okay. I d for how long does Kimmich... Has, for how long has been Kimmich playing for Bayern now? Five years? He's been years? with Six? Guardiola. He's been, he's been a Six, lot of... Six, five years? I'd say more, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so through... <laughs> All his time at Bayern, he, no, he definitely uh, more than six. He never l bottled the league. He like never lost ten, the league. maybe like eight, ten. Okay, maybe. So he's been a no, uh, eight. He's been crucial part of this eleven unbeaten streak of Bayern in in the Bundesliga. Eleven years uh, with without losing the the Bundesliga, and he's been class. He already won the Champions League for for Bayern as well. Um, he's arguably the most important player in the German squad. At yes. the moment, uh, Jamal Musiala. I'd yeah, but he's growing <laughs> still. He's the yeah. best player in the World Cup for me. But he's he's a reference both at Bayern and the German national team. So True. I have to go with Joshua Kimmich. Afterwards, I'm gonna go with Rodri. So start bench cell with Rodri, Kimmich, and Declan yeah, Rice. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start Kimmich, bench Rodri, and sell Declan Rice at the moment. And it was not a long time ago that I would have put Declan Rice ahead of Rodri, but I mean. Man City can win the treble this season. They are favorites to win the Champions League. They already won the Premier League. And man, Rodri has been different gravy. So with Guardiola, Guardiola turned Rodri into a beast. Man. For me, Rodri right now in the world of football is the most similar player to Busquets in his prime. Right now. I'm going to say, uh, for me... And that's Rodri, why Guardiola loves him. True, true. For me, Rodri and Casemiro are the best defensive mids right now in football. If you if you if you think of it, Guardiola is trying to build a Man City side that resembles his previous Barcelona side. That doesn't have a Messi. But has a Bernardo Silva, has a Mahrez, has a Phil Foden. Has a Erling Haaland! A Erling Haaland. <laughs> Generational. As as Latin Ibrahimovic that uh, no. Guardiola didn't didn't like at the time. I think Haaland will have a greater legacy than Zlatan Ibrahimovic no. at the end of yeah, at the I, end of I, everything. I reckon that too. Um but But yeah, for me, as I said, Kimmich, um, he's just, he has a different status both in, in, at Bayern and the national team. That's why I, I picked him ahead of these two. Okay, I'm going to start Rodri, I'm going to bench Joshua Kimmich, and I'm going to sell Declan Rice. Okay, so you agree with me on this I one. I, maybe I'll start on Kimmich next one, season one. when Barca gets Kimmich. If they get Kimmich, please, please. And then that Champions League comments I said will be much more possible. So this is the final, final start bench cell, and it can reignite some people's minds because we discussed in the past these two, these three players, and they're crucial for their teams, and they might be teammates, two of them. So a start bench cell. With I know what you're Pedri. Say. <laughs> Pedri, Gavi, Kamavinga, right? No, 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 Pedri, no? Jude Bellingham, and Kamavinga. Pedri, Jude Bellingham. And Kamav, I think Jude Bellingham is going to Real Madrid, Pedro. Yeah, I mean, I will have to rearrange that one and because <laughs> Jude Bellingham. But if it was Kamavinga, Pedri and Gavi, what would you do? Kamavinga ahead of those two. Whoa, Pedri. At the moment, I would say Kamavinga, Gavi and Pedri. I would start Kamavinga. Uh, I would bench Gavi and I would sell Pedri. I uh, would start Pedri hard, man. Uh, but this season, Pedri hasn't been what we were expecting. Man. Pedri right now, in my opinion, is one of the top five center mids in and the world. Kamavinga, a lot of people mocked me, but Kamavinga this season showed why he's up to this discussion. True. You know? no, and yeah, Kamavinga yeah, yeah, yeah. can play anywhere on the pitch. Anywhere. Le yeah, yeah, it's true. It's Left true. back, winger, midfield, okay? He can do it all. I was picturing him as striker, and I was like, yeah, he could yeah, play yeah. striker. F Fair he enough. could do it. No, he could do it, literally. So, goalkeeper, maybe. <laughs> no, no, no. But with the... Ju oh, I Look, with Gavi in the mix, it's hard comparing Gavi and Kamavinga. But Pedri, I most definitely... I'm going to start Pedri. Uh, uh, in, uh, look, with Jude Bellingham, Kamavinga, and Pedri, I'm going to start... Pedri. Oh my gosh. I'm going to bench Jude on, Bellingham Alex, and on, I'm going to sell Kamavinga. Pedri is absolutely special and will be 
a leading center mid in the next 10 Alex, years Alex, how football. can you not start Jude Bellingham after this season? Man? Because I just prefer Pedri. <laughs> <laughs> I do agree that Jude Bellingham Jude will be Bellingham going to will, ha will have a huge legacy, you'll see. But do you think he's going to Real Madrid like me? It, Jude Bellingham. He might, yeah. I, I think it, it makes more sense for him now than a Premier League move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If he, look, and Real Madrid will have Fede Valverde, Chouameni, Jude Bellingham, like, and yeah. Kamavinga. Another Galacticos team, right? So in terms of midfield, they're quite, they're very well. They're, They're going to charge well. for the Champions League next season as but well. But with Pedri, Jude Bellingham and Kamavinga, how would you do it, Pedro? I would start Jude Bellingham. I would bench Kamavinga and I would sell Pedri. You I'm so sorry, Pedri. Pedri. After this season, Kamavinga this season had a better performance than Pedri. And that's just facts. It's true. The pure truth. And that's why I'm selling Pedri. I mean, that's not why. Because I, I believe more in Kamavinga than I do in Pedri. I'm, and I'm sorry. Oh, Pedri. Pedri. Get that Champions League done. With Lewandowski next season, man. I know it's very bold for me to be saying that, but oh my days! Tell us your your start bench cells in the comment section. Like this video, and yeah, we're going bold, aren't we, with this one, Bill? Yeah, I mean, uh, it will generate a lot of uh, <laughs> different opinions for sure. True. So, people, thank you for watching this video until now, and thank you for going bold with FC Wonder. Take care, guys. Oh,